signature scents. I managed to find seven fragrances in my collection that I think are really good signature scents. Now what's the signature scent you may ask? Well, it's basically a fragrance that you can wear every day, any occasion, and it'll be just fine. You wanna know what those fragrances are? Meet me on the other side of this intro and I'm gonna tell you all about them. See you in a second. What's going on everybody? That's right, you guessed it. It is your boy Trey Sense. Listen, got a little bit of a review for you, a little bit of a discussion. You know how we do it here on the channel. But before we get into that, gotta take care of some particulars. I need you to do three things for your boy. Three simple things. I need you to like, share, and sub. And I promise you, it will not cost you a dime and it won't take up much of your time. And if you want to, and if you're feeling a little extra, go ahead and hit that bell so you get notifications every time that this beautiful brown face pops up on YouTube with a new video. Okay, now that we got the shenanigans and the business out of the way, let's have some fun. Let's do what you came here for. Let me tell you about some fragrances. Some <laughs> Say that three times fast. Let me tell you about some fragrances. All of these fragrances, I think, make wonderful signature scent. Now, for those of you who don't know what a signature scent is, a signature scent is basically a daily wear. Something that you really, really like and you want to wear it every single day. And then you may mix up, switch it up once every two or three days or every three or four days or five or six days. But this is your main fragrance. This is your go-to fragrance. This is the one that you like. I got seven of them. What y'all want to do? Let's get it. The first one I want to talk to you about is from the house of Happy Land Studios, EJ Wells, and it is Signature. Love this fragrance. Love it a lot. Got a nice plum note in it. It's, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's masculine. Um, it, it comes out sweet in the beginning, but then it dries down to a little bit of a clean, medicinal type of scent. See the bottle again? Notice the juice levels. Very dark fragrance. Listen, this is one you can wear it any time of the year, which is what makes it signature scent worthy. I would just be careful with my sprays on this because anything that EJ puts together, two, three sprays is all you need and you're good all day. So this is one you can overspray. So you would wanna be careful with it, especially if you work in an office type setting or an enclosed environment. Mm -mm. You don't want to go ham on the sprays on this. You want to keep it low. Keep it down. Two, three sprays at the most. Maybe, I say three, maybe two on, one on each wrist and then one to the middle of your shirt or something. I promise you, you will be smelling this for eight to 12 hours. Projection is great on it. Two and a half, three hours projection. Longevity is great on everything that I've ever gotten my hands on from Happy Land Studios. Eight, 10 hours, legit. I've sprayed this stuff, this, and I know Cure Cafe, I wore one rainy day and sprayed it on my shirt, hung it back up when I got home, and it was on that shirt like a week and a half, two weeks later. You can still smell it. Every time I open the closet up, you can smell it. That's no joke. But Happy Land Studios Signature, definitely a signature scent. This next one is in my opinion, signature scent worthy. It may lean better in cooler weather or controlled climates. Nonetheless, I still like it from the house of Mercedes Benz. It is Club Black. And I, that's not where I sprayed it. That's where I sprayed it. And I like this fragrance. It's sweet, it's playful, but at the same time, it's very masculine, but it's subtle. It's real subtle. It's not a monster project. Hold on a second, it's ringing. What up, it's JP? What up? I ain't talked to Manny today. Okay. Well, let me finish this video, JP. I'll hit you back. Okay, I got you, bro. He wants to do a trade. 
nonetheless i like this fragrance it's a telephone too it, it doubles it's a fragrance it's a frag phone you know what i'm saying frag phone. It called, hello hello i wish it came with its own mercedes but it don't all you get is this bottle which i like i like mercedes Benz club as well same bottle just different colors very subtle not a monster projector um, it's not one that's going to jump off your skin and radiate across the room it lays very close to the skin i call them cuddle scents because you kind of have to be in that cuddling you know what i'm saying in that in that moment to really smell it it's not one that's going to project down the hall or um, you're not going to leave a massive scent scent trail it's going to be right here which makes it a good work fragrance good church fragrance anything close encounter Nonetheless, I like it. I like it a lot. It's got some sweetness, some masculinity, some playfulness to it. And it's just a little bit different, like me. It's in its own lane. Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Good little office scent. Definitely a signature scent. I could see this being somebody's signature scent and an everyday wear. Mercedes-Benz Club Black Telephone. Okay, what I want to grab next, y'all. Okay, this next one has several flankers and it hasn't even been out an uh, awful long time. It's been out a while, but not, you know, not 15 or 20 years for it to have three or four flankers already. Flankers like Most Wanted, Tonic, Wanted by Night. So the fragrance I'm talking about is the OG Wanted. I think this would make a great signature scent. It's a definite year round type of scent. It can be a little strong as well. Cap, always the top always wants to unscrew. It could be a little long as well. A little long, a little loud, but again, to me, when a fragrance is extra strong and extra masculine, you just don't spray as much of it. Instead of spraying seven, go four. You know what I'm saying? Or if you normally go 12, go seven. I normally go 52, so I'll have to go 25. But nonetheless, it is a great smelling fragrance. Very masculine, um, a little seductive, a little sexy, but not too much, not over the top. And it doesn't say that you're trying too hard. To me, it's just the type of fragrance that I could definitely see somebody reaching for and wanting to wear this every day because it smells good. Again, it may lean itself more towards a climate controlled environment or cooler weather, but still. Again, fragrances like this you can definitely wear in the middle of the summer on the hottest day. I just don't think you can go crazy on the sprays. Keep it to a minimum and you will be just fine. From the house of Azaro, which is one of my favorite houses, it is wanted. Not to be confused with one of the flankers. Okay, what we want to grab next, y'all? Let's get this one out of the way. This is probably the cheapest fragrance on the list and it is from the house of Lacoste. And it is Lacoste. La home alone however you want to say it and i love this little man man oh man oh man i love this fragrance loved it the first time i sniffed it sexy boozy playful citrusy i mean this to me is like a poor man's and i hate to say it that way uh well let, let me rephrase that hey because i'm a poor man so a budget guy's ysl tuxedo that's the vibe I get from it. That citrus is so is so grown up and sexy, but at the same time a little bit playful. Oh man, that is nice. <laughs> that is nice. I've been wanting to pick up the intense version of this, but I never run across it. Man, oh man. Yes, a budget YSL tuxedo is what you have in this fragrance right here. And that's Lacoste La Home. Very, very sexy fragrance. And it's one that I definitely need to get on my skin more. I even like the bottle. I like, I just like everything about this fragrance. It's, this is one of my, if I had to pick five to keep for life, this would definitely be in it. Man, that smells nice. Lacoste La Home. Definitely signature scent worthy. Listen, guys, if you see this, get your hands on it, man. Put it in your hands. Or if you see um, the intense version, I'm not sure what I called it just a second ago. If you see Lacoste, Lahome Intense, 
pick it up too. It's good too. It's just a little bit darker. I need to get my hands on that one. Okay, I got three more. This one, this is just a well-made, well-blended fragrance that's perfect for just about every occasion. From the house of Zaharoff, it is signature for home. I love the smokiness in this, the masculinity in it. But at the same time, it is super smooth, super clean, super professional. Everything that you would want in a fragrance, you can dress it up with a suit, tie, and a tuxedo. You could dress it down with a polo and some khaki shorts, or a t-shirt and some khaki shorts, or some basketball shorts. I mean, it's just versatile. It's just well-rounded. To me, this is the definition of a signature scent, and I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, a smoky fougere. Kind of hard to beat. Signature for home from the house of Zaharoff. And Mr. George is a wonderful person. He's good to small time reviewers like myself. And he sent me that bottle for free. Um, but that's not why I'm giving it good reviews. I'm giving it a good, a good review because it's a good fragrance, period, point blank. So is Royale and so is Nar. They're both good. I mean, that's just the way that it is. Two more, so let's turn to double play. From the house of Dior, it is Dior Homme 2020, the less lipsticky one. But nonetheless, I could definitely see this being a signature scent for myself or for anybody else. Year round fragrance, dressed up, dressed down, dressed casual, uh, suit with no tie, suit with the bow tie, however you wanna wear this fragrance. You will be just fine and it will shine and rock out. I like it. I like it a lot. From the house of Dior, it is home 2020. I like that fragrance a lot. And this next one on the list is another citrusy, woody type of scent, but I like it. It is also a flanker, one of several from the house of, uh, from Giorgio Armani. This Aqua de Joe Absolute. And I, or is it Absolute? Which one is it? I can't see that right now. It's either Absolute or Absolute. Which one of the two? You know what I'm talking about. This one. Can I see it from the back? Nonetheless, this is a great fragrance. It smells really, really good. Nice, clean, citrusy scent it reminds me of something that you would want to put on a nice crisp white button down shirt with or a nice crisp white v-neck t-shirt or again a nice pair of slacks some shoes and a button down shirt or whatever you wear you know it's just versatile it's a very versatile sexy fragrance that's easy to wear um it's armani so it's not the cheapest fragrance but you can get it at discounters and i think this bottle at discount is about between 50 and 60 bucks which is not bad for this it's not bad for what you get because to me it smells really really nice i like it nice clean crisp fresh citrusy and yes i could smell like this all day and love the compliments that i would get from it from the house of giorgio armani it's aqua joe absolute they kill me with these absolutes and absolutes. One part, one company is absolute. One company is absolute. I don't even know what either one of them mean. But nonetheless, this one. Great signature scent for you. Get it and get it in your collection. All right, guys. I'm fixing to jump off here. Edit this video. Get it up so you can see it. Uh, I definitely appreciate you all stopping by and being the best part of this channel spending some time with me and listening to me talk about these fragrances as always please feel free to be active in the comment section that's what it is there for let me know what your signature scent is what your go-to fragrance is the one that you just love to smell love to smell on you and, and you know the one that you've been rocking with let me know what it is with that being said i'm going to jump off of here and do all those things i just mentioned editing the video and stuff and thank you for returning to the scene of the crime and being the best part of this channel. I love you all and God bless you all. Until next time, peace.